All right, welcome back. We are live in the kitchen now with Chef Sergio. Yes, thank you. Good and, morning. Uh, go ahead. He, he started off by what this. He's like, I know it doesn't sound <laughs> normal, but trust me, it's really good. I gotta I'll be honest. I'm going in with a healthy dose of skepticism. Not a fan of the goat cheese. Exactly. exactly. But I'll try anything. So you know, <laughs> we're very familiar with the traditional yeah. vanilla. My favorite is butterscotch. Delicious. But we're gonna do something a little different, which okay. is goat cheese. So you said it right. All right. So we're gonna start with our cream right. sauce here. Okay. So we have some heavy cream ready, and it's already simmering. You want okay. it to just only simmer. You don't want to bring it to a boil. So you're good. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add our vanilla beans. So this okay. is fresh vanilla bean that I just cut in half. Cut in half. half. So it's gonna kind of steep in that. Now mm -hmm. we're gonna add our sugar to this. Okay. And go ahead and start whisking that up. And then, of course, the star player is going to be goat cheese. Now, we're not putting a lot of goat cheese. It's not going to be super goat cheese forward, uh, but it is going to be really nice. You're going to have that, that was said like a professional, not goat cheese forward. Yep. Right. Exactly. Okay. So go ahead and break that up for me. That's a very nice way to say it. Okay. Yep, so okay. perfect. So you're going to break up your goat cheese. Absolutely. Okay. You could maybe use your whisk too. That might the help you. The goal is not going to have the goat cheese reach out and smack you across the lips. Exactly, right. exactly. Okay. So what you're doing here now is you're just incorporating these flavors into it, making that cheese, uh, goat cheese kind of melt into it. Okay. And you don't right. have this boiling. You just kind of got No, you don't want it to boil. You okay. actually just want it just enough to where you see some steam coming out like okay. you see mm -hmm. here. So it's perfect. All right, okay. perfect. You are there. Okay. So now what we're going to do is using this spoon right here, go ahead and, and add a little bit of liquid. Now, when I mean a little bit, you're going to, you're going to stream it into where Rob has okay. Bring it to me. Let's go. All right. This is called tempering. The reason why is it, we're adding a hot liquid to a, either a room or cold item mm -hmm. and we want to make sure we control it because if we add this right away, we're going to end up making scrambled eggs. We and nobody that. likes scrambled eggs, we, right? We, so we got a team. We got a team cook exactly. going on here. Yes. You can go a little bit heavier. Okay. Good, but you're good. You want to control that stream, all right? You just don't want to throw it in there, okay. especially as you're bringing it. I have to be careful it. when I do things. They exactly. say I'm heavy-handed. So. <laughs> this is the little Which is actually good part. if you're a bartender. <laughs> exactly. All right, you can add, now as you get there, you can actually start adding yeah, a little bit more aggressively. Oh, you can hit it because now, yeah, now. Yeah. Not too aggressive, so all right? And then we'll do a little about. bit, another cup worth. Okay. And by now, the eggs should be starting to reach that temperature without actually cooking. Okay. If it does happen actually cooked by mistake, you can actually strain it before you put it in your ramekin. So oh. you're good to go. A way to save it. Correct. All right. Okay. All right, so now go ahead and just dump now the whole thing right in there. Right. Right. At this point, at this point, we are there, so. Nice and slow, perfect, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Still getting splashed. I'm splashed on. <laughs> All right. And now, okay. Rob, what you can do using the same spoon, Rob, okay. you're going to go ahead and actually now your custard mix, go ahead and put it in your ramekin. Okay. Uh -oh. We only have 30 seconds yep. left. We're going to make it. So We're going to make it. Put it, it. in yep. the ramekin. Put it and in then the what ramekin. happens after that? All that. And then you're going to add, it. you're going to add a little bit of water to your actual pan. When okay. you bake it off, you want to bake it off. The water basically is going to give it a nice equal distribution of heat. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. So it's beautiful. Client. When you put this in the oven 300 uh, degrees for about Always 40 to 60 to minutes, it's going to be beautiful when it comes out. You're going to have something similar like this. Oh, All you're going to do is just add some sugar to the very top. Oh, Very similar. Blow torch it. Exactly. This is where chefs get to play this with the, this fire. This is the best part. And guys, we actually sell all this at Publix. <laughs> That's the, 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 see, that is the, the cutest little blowtorch. It is. It is. It's perfect. And the key no thing need for is, a blast shield or anything. no, you don't need the big the big guns for this. Uh -huh. And that's it, guys. All you're gonna do from here, just uh, oh, caramelize oh, that that uh, sugar. Mm -hmm. You'll see it's continue to bake. And that's it, guys. And then from here, you uh -huh. have your nice right. creme brulee so goat cheese. You Try it, it out. It. Oh right. gosh, I'm so I'm, scared. I'm not scared. I'm going. I'm going. All in. right. It's surprisingly delicious. I promise. I just want. I want to crack through. Yeah. That's yes, that's a good test to see if we have good creme brulees. Give it the best. Oh. Ah. <laughs> the goat cheese does not smack you in the lips. <laughs> and it is sweet and tasty. Mm -hmm. uh, and maybe a little creamy. Yeah. It is. Exactly. It is, it Very is silky creamy. smooth. Okay. All right, it is better than that. Yeah. We can do this. It doesn't taste like goat cheese, goat cheese. No, yeah. It doesn't. Nice and sweet. All right, we'll have the recipe on our website, WCTV.tv. Stay with us. We'll be back.